My name is Sarah and I am a collections curator with the History Museum at the Castle. Today we thought we'd give you a sneak peek of behind the scenes and let you know what happens to objects when you've donated them. Um, we get objects from all over the place, from other museums, from individuals, from businesses. We don't always know where they come from as far as where they were stored. Did it come from an attic or a basement or was it taken really, really good care of? So we have to do a lot of things before we can let something go on exhibit or into our storage area. The first thing we have to do is decide what are we going to take in. This is based off of a lot of things. First, does it meet our mission? Second, do we need it? Do we have a lot of it? Can we use it for exhibit? Is it good for research? After we've decided to take an object in, we have to first make it legally ours, and that requires us to have a lot of different forms signed. We have to have a certificate of gift, a thank you letter goes out, and it gets assigned a number. After it's assigned a number, then we have to do various types of assessments on it. We have to look at an object to make sure it doesn't have bugs or mold, and to make sure it's safe to put in our collection. My intern, Sarah, is currently working on assessing and cleaning a golf ball machine. After the piece has been cleaned and assessed, we have to apply a label. First, she's putting a barrier layer of B72, and after that dries, she's going to use an archival marking pen and then do another top coat. We always try to put the number in a place where it will be accessible, but not disfiguring to the piece if it were to go out on exhibit. We also have to make sure we have pictures of everything in our collection, and this all goes into the database so that later on you can look at it and not have to touch it. And we also have to measure everything in centimeters. After all of our information has been gathered and all of our forms filled out, then we can finally take all of the information, put it in the database, and then we wrap the artifacts up and put them in long-term storage. Most things won't go out on exhibit right away, occasionally they do, but for the most part all museum artifacts, once they are received in, go into storage.